What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. So today we're going to be focusing on 83 rated UEL Road to the Knockouts is a Diop. Now honestly, I can see West Ham going relatively far. I can see him going relatively far. Um, or West Ham going relatively far. If they get out their knockouts or, or the group stages, I'm pretty sure he'll be going to an 85 or 86 rated card. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But six foot four, medium, medium work rates. Maybe you'd want a medium high, the high defensive work rates. But medium, medium will do the job. As for attributes, I mean pace wise, 70 acceleration, he goes to 80 acceleration in game and he goes to 91 sprint speed with either a catalyst or a shadow personally I'm using a catalyst um, because shadows are extinct at 5k and I do not have any in the club but I would really, I mean shadow, you've got to go for a shadow for him, I'm just going to miss out on that defending boost which is a little bit unfortunate you could go for an anchor but I feel like you need a lot more um, than 75 acceleration, obviously with a shadow slash catalyst he goes to 80 acceleration so in game, 86 pace is perfect defending wise really solid physical 90 strength with 84 aggression probably his best attributes about him no player traits but he looks like a really solid absolute tank being six foot four looks like a really solid card so let's get into the player review as well i almost forgot to mention an update on the current player review leaderboards in first it is currently david janola with a 9.4 followed closely in second with inform rafinha and in third one swash to with a 9.2 remember ratings are basically determined on how they perform for me in game and also the value so let's get into the dup review is he worth thirty thousand coins right let's go now we are playing foot champs so it is going to be tough out here now he's got mukiale i'm pretty sure it is at left center back um, he's got an icon Raul in this is a really really nice team it's going to be a hard match uh we won our first champs game so we're currently one and oh anything can happen right let's see how this goes Go on, Dial. Gets that interception. That's absolutely lovely. As you can see, you're staying back. He saw the ball. Ran up. Got it out. Lovely, lovely. Interception. 20 minutes in. Relatively even game of a minute. Dial. What a tackle, man. Being six foot four, he just towers over your opponent. We push it up a little bit with him. Let's get that ball away. Absolutely fantastic, boys. I mean, he's had to do two tackles slash interceptions, and so far, he's got a 100% success rate. Hey, going to the half, boys. We are one nil up through a Sonny goal. Now, honestly, uh, Diop has been absolutely class so far. He made that interception to start with, and then another absolutely brilliant tackle. So, so far, he's doing exactly what I want. I've only had 0 0.5 expected goals. My opponents only had 0 0.3. It's been a little bit of a quiet game, but Diop for sure is carrying me. The only iffy thing, I wish he had high defensive work rate. Sometimes he's left a tiny bit out of position, like he's kind of pushed up a little too much for my liking, and that's just some medium, medium work rates. If he was medium high, this might be like one of the best center backs in the game at the moment but nonetheless boys it's definitely you can work around them uh work around the work race no matter why it's not too much of an issue i'd probably just want to try pair him up with a medium high uh work rate center back right deal we're just going to play that pass down his passing is solid i mean his passing would do for a center back no doubt no clue why he's pushing up here but i will not complain gone deal with a huge interception there absolutely huge if he didn't give that interception i i might as well be 2-1 down right there that was absolutely class man absolutely class well we did end up taking it to penalties and sadly losing on penalties but Issa Diop was honestly the best player on the pitch. Now starting off with his pros on the right it is going to be his defending, it's going to be his physical and it's going to be him being 6 foot 4. He's an absolute monster as well I would like to mention his interceptions was absolutely fantastic um, now honestly he was just fantastic. He, he, Him and Upa Meccano at the back they were just two absolute tanks in my opinion. They were my, I don't know I feel like I'm tempted to actually you know keep this card i want to try sniper shadow and try literally keep this card because he is absolutely fantastic i don't know how i'm gonna fit him in my team but i'll try find a way um obviously he gets a strong link down to fabianski in net with a west ham and i mean if you could work him in your team like you know premier league french quite easy to link he gets a strong link with rafael varan as well simply a really good card recommended kim sol it's obviously going to be a shadow sadly i couldn't pick one up so he went for a catalyst and his passing was actually really good um he went to 82 short passing and 83 long passing with a catalyst so maybe it's a blessing in disguise his passing was fantastic and his defending just felt the same as well another uh, another pro is going to be the 90 strength like he's an absolute monster if you get into a like head to head with him he will win like five out, i mean like nine out of ten times he will win the ball 90 strength 84 aggression absolutely unreal as for the cons i mean there's not too much cons i'm not going to consider this a con but one thing i would have liked is if he was medium high if he had high defensive work rates he would be simply fantastic remember 
boys as well. Uh, ratings are decided on, you know, how they performed and uh, the value. In fact, these are only 30,000 coins with the chance to upgrade even more. I'm going to give them a relatively high rating. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Just missing out on the top three leaderboards. Obviously, Taliska is currently third with a 9.2, so he's just missing out, but he was simply unreal, man. 9 out of 10. I highly recommend picking him up. Hope you guys did enjoy. Remember as well, make sure to drop a like on the video. It does help boost it out to more and more people. Drop a sub if you're new, and until next time, peace out, boys.